Watch you guys got another video here for you on how to optimize your hard drive for increased speed and performance. In this one, we're going to be using these mechanical drives. Now, this is not recommended for solid state drives or NVMe drives or anything like that. This is meant for uh, mechanical drives, which you can see right here. And I'll show you how to get the best performance out of these mechanical drives. Now, of course, this is not going to outperform anything like one of these. Uh, but what we can do is optimize our hard drive for better performance. And I'll show you how to do it. Now, if you're going to have all your games on here, having quicker load times and also better performance hard drives is the way to go. So if you're a gamer, then this video might be for you. So let's take a look at how we can do this uh, on this particular drive here. Now, the first thing we need to do is make sure the drive is uh, formatted and clean. Uh, just like this here, you can see it's unallocated. That means there's no data on the drive because we're going to be partitioning this drive out. And if you've got data on there, obviously that runs the risk of losing all of that data. And we'll be using the very beginning part of this drive. So let's go ahead and start. So first off, we're going to need to get HD Tune, which has been around for a very long time. So go to their website and download. There is a trial version. You can run the trial version and still do this. And I'll show you how to do it. So basically go to their website and download it and get it installed on your system. You'll see a prompt box pop up. Just say yes to install and we can close that website off. And now we can go ahead and install this onto the PC. So there we go. Let's get this installed. You can stick a, a, a shortcut on your desktop if you wish. Click install here. There we go. Quick and painless. Now, let me pop over to my main system because I've got a two or three terabyte drive on there. And I want to show you on these smaller drives because it works a lot better on the smaller drives. So we're going to go over here and basically click on benchmark. Now, there is a setting inside the file and options which can allow you to uh, do a more accurate uh, benchmark. And that's what I advise you to do. But you can see here the sweet spot is 200 gigabytes. And this is the sweet spot for this drive. Now, once you run this benchmark, you see how that tapers off. And that's literally the drive dipping down and losing performance. So that's what we need to do is basically make a partition of 200 gigabytes. And that's what I'm going to show you. And then we'll run that retest and you'll see what happens there. Now, we're doing the retest here and we have managed to get these results here. Now, looking down the bottom Right here, you can see minimum, maximum, and average. These are your megabytes per second. And also, you've got your access time, burst rate, and also current CPU usage there. And down at the bottom here, it just shows you the gigabytes here. So you can see we're in the uh, 200 gigabyte. So what we're going to do here is we're basically going to use the short stroke method to try to get better performance out of this and make a partition inside here. Now, yours might be different. You need to look at where it tapers off and make a partition of that size and the short stroke method is basically putting a short stroke in here and putting the size in and then basically repartitioning your drive and then basically that will give you better performance you'll see in a minute once i do it so let me open up uh, the disk management here i'm just going to go to disk management once disk management's open you can see we've got unallocated space i'm going to right click and go new simple volume now, inside the simple volume, you're going to need to put in a number. Now, you don't want to just put inside here uh, 2,000 because it's not going to give you an accurate number. So you need to get that number as accurate as possible. And I want to get it right on 200 gigabytes. So you can use a converter to convert this to get the exact number that you need. And this website's out there that will do this. You can see here 200 uh, gigabytes here. And we've got it from gigabytes to megabytes, and it gives you a number of 204,800 megabytes. So that's what we need to put inside that box. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And once I've got this done, I can then click next, and this will create a 200 gigabyte partition. Well, exactly 200 gigabytes it will be, and that's what I want right there, just like so. Next up, you can see we've got unallocated space on the right hand side. So I just want to create a new simple volume here as well. And we'll go ahead and do that. So let me just go ahead and set that up. And you can give yours whatever names you like, but just let that format and create a new simple volume. OK, so we're now set. So let's go ahead and go over to here. And basically what we're going to do is go over to the program 
and we're going to set the short stroke inside here. So go short stroke, and then we're going to put 200 gigabytes inside here as well. And you'll see what it does. So under the 40 gigabytes, I'm going to do 200 inside here. And we can now click on start. And basically what that's going to do is start benchmarking how our hard drive again once we've done our 200 gigabyte short stroke. And you can see how speeded this process up because it does take a bit of time. But there's no off curve now. It's being nice and straight. And that's exactly what we want. And uh, you can see the performance chart down there has slightly changed here. The access time has changed. I'll give you a comparison so you can see the differences between before and after so you can see and uh, you can see that line is nice and straight and that's exactly what we want we want that to be uh, right where it is there so let me exit out here and we'll take a look at the before and after shots so you can see what the differences were now of course don't think that you're going to get uh, SSD speeds here so you're basically just optimizing your drive for better performance so looking at the minimum specs before was 87.8 now we've got 163.7 looking at the maximum is 202.9 before and now it's 204.1 and the average is 155.7 before and now we've got 191.1 and the access time is 14.8 milliseconds before now it's 9.52 so you can see there they're not super duper speed differences but it is performance increase and it does actually perform a little bit better so that's how you can optimize your hard drive and increase speed and performance it's not lightning speed but it is an increase just want to say a big special thanks to all my youtube members who have joined my youtube members group my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hopefully i'm going to be starting that build video this week or this weekend so uh, stay tuned for that one have a great weekend guys and thanks again for watching bye for now